Like most farmers here in the Kirehe district of eastern Rwanda, Epiphany Mukamurenzi is up with the sun. She and her husband Bosco and Datimana work closely together during the daily morning milking session. This would have been unthinkable just a few years ago when Epiphany was confined to household chores while Bosco exclusively handled anything to do with their income. Things started to change when they took part in a livestock training program five years ago. My husband and I used to be very, very poor. We fought all the time. Everything changed when we received this cow and the training. In the past, my husband would spend our money without consulting me. Our family is so different now. We live in harmony and we're both involved in financial decisions. The training Epiphany and her husband received is part of a government project called QAMP, which aims to increase farmers' incomes and food security. Supported by IFAD, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, and HAFA International, qualifying families receive livestock and are trained to care for them. But it doesn't stop there. Everyone who receives livestock is also trained on gender equality. Happiness has been brought back to this house. Gender training was crucial because I used to think that the money from the milk and the bananas was for me. The money from the beans and such was for the women. We've been taught that the money we make is for the good of the entire family. So far, about 6,000 families have gone through this training, and the project's Raymond Kamwe says it's essential for them to learn about the link between gender equality in the household and poverty. Gender is a key part of our training program because we know the significant role that women play in lifting households out of poverty. Women are crucial for the agricultural sector, so we emphasize gender equality in farming so that they can contribute and share their vision for their family's future. It's all part of the Rwandan government's nationwide push for gender equality. The East African country is the first in the world where women hold a parliamentary majority and new laws have given women rights to land, inheritance, employment opportunities and education. We can't do, talk about gender equality without talking the independence, the financial independence of women. So we want our women to be economic, economically empowered so that uh, they can face their future. To help women become more economically empowered, the QAM project is also trying out something new. It is called the Gender Action Learning System, or GALS. Raymond has been working with couples like Lidivine Musabimana and Gasana Muzehe to map out a common vision by using counseling, drawings, and visuals. Together, they have developed a shared strategy and measurable goals for their family's development. The training taught us how to work together in all aspects of our lives. Our love has come back and we share everything. We built a toilet, renovated the house, bought livestock. Anything is possible now. And with Rwanda's focus on gender equality, anything is possible for many women. A recent study estimates that global GDP could increase by as much as 28 trillion U.S. dollars by 2025 if more women like Lady Veen and Epiphany participated in economic growth, and it looks like Rwanda is on the way to achieving that.